High cholesterol got you worried? Now, did you know that high cholesterol is a common health problem that actually affects millions of people worldwide? And according to the World Health Organization, raised cholesterol is estimated to cause 2.6 million deaths annually, and this is a major factor for heart disease and stroke, which I believe is entirely wrong. See, while many people believe that cholesterol is always detrimental, is, isn't entirely accurate. In fact, a significant number of individuals with high cholesterol are unaware of the underlying cause behind their elevated levels. If you are audience A and B, continue watching as we'll delve a bit deeper into this and we'll try to make this video quick and efficient. As this question in regards to high cholesterol and or high LDL cholesterol level is carrying loss of individuals and specifically individuals who practices zero to low carb lifestyle. It's crucial to identify the specific reason behind your high cholesterol as it can be either harmful or beneficial to your health. Before seeking a treatment from your doctor or your doctor trying to prescribe you statins, consider undergoing additional tests to ensure a comprehensive understanding of your health status. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that advanced lipid testing, which goes beyond the standard lipid panel, can actually provide valuable insights into an individual's cardiovascular risk. And by gaining a thorough understanding of your cholesterol profile, you can actually make an informed decision about your health and develop a tailored plan. Several factors can contribute to high cholesterol levels, but it's essential to understand the role of inflammation in atherosclerosis. See, chronic inflammation rather than cholesterol itself is the primary culprit behind this condition. And research has shown that oxidized oils, except DHA, can trigger the development of atherosclerosis. And oxidized cholesterol can induce inflammation in the arterial walls and lead to plaque formation. While unoxidized cholesterol does not cause such changes, a study published in the Journal of Lipid Research demonstrated that oxidized LDL cholesterol is a potent stimulator of inflammatory responses in the endothelial cells lining of the blood vessels. A similar proportion of individuals with normal cholesterol levels experience heart attacks as those with elevated levels. Even statin users the Firmingham Heart Study, a long-term cardiovascular research project, found that nearly half of the participants who suffered a heart attack had cholesterol levels with a normal range. Several factors can actually trigger inflammation in the arteries, such as radiation exposure, polyunsaturated vegetable oils, excessive sugar intake, chronic stress, blood vessel injuries, toxic metals, existotoxins, and diabetes. A study in the Journal of the American Heart Association linked long-term exposure to low-dose radiation to an increased risk of atherosclerosis. Numerous studies have consistently shown that factors associated with atherosclerosis are inflammatory in nature, and successful treatments for preventing atherosclerosis exhibit anti-inflammatory properties. For example, a meta-analysis published in the Journal of the American Heart Association found that statin and niacin therapy, which is commonly prescribed for lowering cholesterol, also has significant anti-inflammatory effects that contribute to its cardiovascular benefits. So instead of solely focusing on cholesterol levels, it's more important to understand how to stabilize plaque in your blood vessels, if present. Plaque is composed of white blood cells and a protein-rich fluid encapsulated by a tough fibrous capsule. As the plaque grows, the outer capsule becomes increasingly thin and prone to rupture, releasing the contents into the blood vessel. A study published in the journal Circulation found that the vulnerability of the plaque, rather than its size, is a critical determinant of the risk of cardiovascular events. The plaque contents are highly irritating and can trigger blood clot formation. It's this blood clot that can obstruct blood flow in an already partially blocked vessel, potentially leading to a heart attack or stroke. The Prospect study published in the New England Journal of Medicine demonstrated that thin-capped fibrothromus, 
which are vulnerable plaques, are more likely to cause future cardiovascular events compared to stable plaques. Two key factors determine the danger posed by plaque in your blood vessels. The growth rate of the plaque and the strength of the fibrous cap um, on the plaque surface in contact with the flowing blood. And a study published in the journal Arthrochlorosis found that rapid plaque progression is associated with a much higher risk of cardiovascular events. The good news is that both plaque growth and fibrous cap strength can be actually controlled while simultaneously strengthening your heart. Lifestyle modifications such as adapting a heart-healthy diet, regular exercise, stress management, and smoking cessation has been shown to slow plaque progression and promote plaque stability. Grab a pen and write these down to strengthen and control. Vitamin C, pine bark, coenzyme Q10, vitamin E to cotrinols, vitamin A, quercetin, cod liver oil, lysine, magnesium ionic chloride, D-ribose, alcarnitin, tartrate, and taurine. If you are concerned about your cholesterol levels and wish to proactively address the issue, I encourage you to schedule a consultation where I can assist you in developing a personalized plan to optimize your cardiovascular health.